But in the audience tonight are uh, two people who were integral in, in bringing Tegan and Sarah to the world. They um, were uh, quite truthfully a part of signing us and, and, and literally putting out our first record. And I just want to give a massive, massive thank you and shout out to Frank and Bonnie from Vapor Records here. Who are paths that we could have taken and we took a path that sometimes felt really tough and, and arduous and, and sometimes felt like a mistake because it was so hard and it was just such a different time when we signed and being queer and being women and being really weird and alternative. Yeah, I mean, we've never once doubted that that was the way to be, to be out and, and be all of those things, but it was tough. We were really young and, and we were out traveling the world and we were trying to figure out where we fit and we were so hard to box and we were so hard to classify. and. Like I said, the times were so different, you know, it was the late 90s and being queer wasn't always, um, it just half the time just either wasn't talked about or it was just like super awkward when it was and there was a lot of like coded language used and, and it felt really like, even when people supported us, it was like, this is a band for people who are gay or who are women and I feel that our audience and our career has defied the odds because we just never, we were never quite content just being, um, you know, a small band that got to travel around and, and now we've done so many things we just never expected, but we just feel a world of gratitude, not only to you guys, but specifically to the, to the people at the beginning of our career who really saw something in this weirdo thing, so thank you so much. Also, it's very like guest heavy. Like, wait till we're in like Upper Darby uh, a couple weeks from now. And we're be like, I just want to call out the guy who sold me a bagel this morning when I got off the tour bus. But today, we got to do a few more shoutouts because there's some other special, really special people in the audience tonight. I hope they're here because it'll be awkward if they're not. But uh, Chris Walla and Jason. There's a, there's a sort of common thread, you know, tying into what Tegan was saying. There have just been people that have come into our lives who, whether they knew they were doing it at the time or not, helped sort of amplify, um, you know, what we were doing and, and didn't ask us to change anything, you know, in fact, encouraged a lot of what made us us. And so, they're here tonight, I hope, and if they're not, fuck them. Uh, they're, they're, they're so special to me and, and really, I mean, Specifically, Chris. I mean, it, it really did change our lives to make this record, uh, and it was it was just deeply important. So thank you so much for coming out tonight to, to sort of be here as we sort of celebrate that album and how monumental it was to us. I want to give them a shout out and a round of applause. We're going to move on to other songs, but I just want to say one more shout out <laughs> because uh, it's like it's like Chris Walla. It's like he he was he was our he was our boyfriend when we made the con, and then we actually went on to make um, a record with our next boyfriend, Greg Kirsten, who's here tonight. Also, and we're about to play a song from uh, Yes Please, Round of Applause. For Greg also, another. Extremely, I don't know why I put the to the boyfriend thing. I think I was just, Super it was because I was talking about my ex-girlfriends and yeah. girlfriends. No, it's good. It's nice. I'm trying to tie it. They matter. Just trying. Just trying. Just trying. Just trying. Um, but Greg Kirsten, it's a weird, it's a weird I know. Army speech. I know, it's a weird one. It's long too. We can cut it off, so it's weird. No one watches Grammys or TV anymore, so it's, it's fine. They're going to let us go as long as we want. 
Um, Greg Kirsten also uh, came in and helped us make, I think, two really amazing records that, um, that I think helped us become better songwriters. And honestly, we're so, the records were so ambitious that we've gone out and toured for many, many years, and it's been exhausting and tiring trying to keep up with um, those albums and how strong how strong they are. And I just want to say I have an extremely tight core now from singing those songs. And I, I mean, like I can take a bullet, and um, and I love you, the taking a bullet. It's a bad one. Sorry, I'm just really. I mean, can I say anything else more awkward? Probably. But so this next song. Uh, my favorite song off of a record called Heartthrob and it's called Now I'm Messed Up. Here we go.